How to use Google Calendar as a to-do list Tips and tricks that you need to know Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can use your Google Calendar as a to-do list where you can create your everyday and work task, add your to-do list and then complete your task, move your task from one day to another, create meetings and more. So let's get into the video first thing that you need to do is simply open up your google calendar if you have no idea how to do that simply go to your google go to google apps and then you will find your google calendar in here once you open up your google calendar you will find the month right here if you have logged into your google account then you don't need to create an account for google calendar and you will simply access it so this is my Google Calendar and you can see right here that I have created few tasks. I will show you that how to use Google Calendar as a to-do list because as by the name we can just say that this is just a calendar but we can actually add our everyday tasks to our calendar, add meetings, set reminders, schedule meetings and more. So to create a new task, what you can do is you can simply click on this option right here which says create. When you click on create, it has option of event and task. You can schedule an event or you can add a to-do task from here. Or another way to add a task is that you simply select the day. Let's say that I want to add a meeting for Saturday right here. So I will simply select the day and this is the time right here. Let's say that I want to do something round about 4 p.m. on Saturday. So I will simply click right here and it will allow me to add an event, task or reminder. So we can also ta add a task this way. I will actually open it up so I can give you a better view. Now all I have to do is simply go ahead and so I'm going to select task and then I can simply add a task right here. Let's give our task a name. For now, I'm going to call it new task. The next thing that I can do is I can simply add the time right here. You can see right here, this is going to be on Saturday and this is the time. I can simply save it. Then we have the repeat option. If you want to repeat this task again and again, you can simply select the report. You can simply select the repeat option. This actually saves our time. We can actually add our task. Let's say that I'm going to have a meeting every week on Saturday. So I can select weekly on Saturday or maybe monthly on the first Saturday or annually on this date or every day from Monday to Friday. Or you can also set a custom date. But this meeting is not going to be repeating itself. So I'm going to go ahead and add doesn't repeat. Then of course we can add description for our task and then we have different lists that we can also create. So this is going to be my tasks right here. You can also click right here and create new list. For now, I'm going to click on save and show you how our task looks. So this is my task right here. If I want to edit the task, I can simply go ahead and, you know, edit it out if I want to delete it or if I want to, you know, cancel it. If this task is completed, you can simply go ahead and select mark completed. Once you do that, then you will see that it is checked and now it is completed similarly i can go ahead and you know create as many tasks as i want to we can also create events like i have created here let's say that you have a meeting or something you can just simply go ahead and create an event as well creating an event is also very similar we simply go ahead and select the time let's say 12 pm thursday so i'm going to click right here add the event title then we can simply add our, you know, time. Then we can add guests as well. You simply enter their email address. You can add location, description, and then we have the calendar. You can also change the color for your event right here. Then you can also select a reminder. Then we have default visibility and our busy or free option. Simply click on save and your new event is saved. After that, you can see right here, we have different calendars. So I can go ahead and go to tasks right here. When you select task right here, 
then you will only find your tasks. So this is like our list that we have created. You can also change the color for your tasks. Let's say red. Now I can simply go ahead and create different tasks. So I have added these tasks right here. So this is kind of like my to-do list. And these are going to be red because I have marked red color for my task. And if I want to just check my task, I can simply go to my task calendar. Or if I'm selecting all of the calendars, then my task will be marked in red and I will have a better idea. If you want to move a task from one day to another, you can simply do that as well. You don't have to create a task again. Let's say that task 3 is, you know, delayed to maybe Saturday, right? It was on Tuesday, but now it's on Saturday. So I'm going to move my task. It's a simple, you know, drag and drop. So it's a simple drag and drop. I'm going to simply click and drop it right here. So this is how we can simply create different tasks right here and move our task from one day to another, from one time to another time as well. Similarly, this is a week view. I can go for a monthly view or a yearly view as well. How you simply use your, you know, calendar. And you can see right here that this is kind of like my to-do list right here. And I can check any task if I want to. Simply click on mark completed. And you can see right here, I have all of these tasks right here on this date. And it is my to-do list. This is how we simply use our Google Calendar for our everyday tasks. You can also invite different people to your calendars and you can also, you know, manage your team with calendar as well. If you want to go to a daily view, then you can see this, all of the tasks right here. You can see this is my list for Saturday and I created different tasks. And this is my list right here. I can also add another one right here. There you go. And I'm going to click on save. So this is our view and this is actually a list view that we get right here when it comes to our, you know, day view. So these are my tasks for Saturday. And this is how you can use Google Calendar as a to-do list. So yeah, guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you. And now you know everything that you wanted to know. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if this tutorial was a big help to you. I tried to tell you everything about the topic and I hope that you understood everything and now you are good to go. And don't forget to uh, share this video with your friends and family members so they can also get the information they want to. Also, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel. The button will be given right down below. Go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, hit the notification bell so every time you get notified when we post a video. So yeah, also leave a comment down below. What was your favorite part and what did you learn from this video or if you have any question. I hope these tricks and tips will help you customize your Google Calendar experience. If I were a big help, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel.